It's K Black Boxing, and I'm gonna do the post fights between Ortiz and Allen and Chisora and uh, White. I'm gonna do. Uh, I didn't make any predictions in these fights, but I'm gonna uh, do the Ortiz and Allen fight first. In my opinion, man, Allen's putting up Ortiz to make Ortiz look good. You know, uh, when he fought. Uh, his last fight, uh, although he won every round, uh, Malik Scott wasn't trying to engage, and, and it seems as if Ortiz couldn't cut off the ring and, you know, do anything. So I believe this Allen fight, he really just made somebody that's going to be in there with him, basically stand there with him and, you know, allow him to do good. Ortiz is very, very left-hand dominant. He'll throw a jab, but he's really like a jab, like pawing jab, trying to set up uh, a punch. And this is one thing he was really, really was doing, man. He was just really just throwing um, either left straight or left uppercut. There's only two punches that he was really, truly throwing. So that was just what I've seen, at least anyway. Um, towards the seventh round, man, when he was about to stop Allen. You know, you heard Allen, I believe, with a right, uh, I don't know, was it a right hook? It really don't even matter, but, he, you know, he hurt him with a, uh, a punch for, with the right hand. And it was kind of amazed to me, though, when he heard him and he was, you know, closed in on him. In my opinion, uh, you know, when he threw those barrage of punches, he missed, like, every last one of them, man. He was all tired looking, you know, but the referee stopped the fight anyway. I mean, he was up in on score card, so, I mean, in my opinion, you know, Ortiz kind of looked his age, man. So, I really don't know what Ortiz. At first, I was kind of thinking, like, man, he's going to be uh, a real – you know, game, uh, heavyweight. You know, he's still undefeated, and he, he probably still can, but he's going to have to really, really get in with somebody real soon because, you know, age is truly not on his side. But uh, let's go right to the next fight, man. Chisora and uh, White, man. Those guys put on a performance, man. Um, leading up to the fight, those guys was doing a whole lot of different things, um, you know, leading up to the fight, man, at the press conference and stuff, man. Whether it was throwing water, uh, getting to a bra, even throwing a table. Those guys had to weigh in separately because they didn't want a, another confrontation before the fight. But it lived up, man. It, it, rarely that does that happen. You know, you see people doing what they have to do and uh, to promote the fight. And they get in the ring and they, and they do hardly nothing. But these guys, they put it on the line, man. You know, it's no, it's no loser in, in this type of fight. You know, um, of course, you know, somebody lost, but what I mean is, in that type of fight, man, you know, the fans are happy. Um, and it's definitely, even though it's an L on uh, Chisura's record, he has nothing to be um, ashamed of, man, because he put it on the line, man. He, you know, they was throwing some punches, man. They was throwing some haymakers, man, and... You know, this is you know, that's what heavyweight boxing need, man. Some some stuff like that, man. You know, people going back and forth, man. You know. Can nobody say this was a boring fight. Alright man, I'm signing off. It's K Black Boxing. Subscribe. Have a good one.